Hey, Kev here. Many of my subscribers have asked me how to bake procedural textures in Blender 2.8, so let me show you how. I'm starting here with a quick brick, bricky texture I made, and you can see it's procedural. Cool. Let's get it so that you can write it out to use outside of Blender in like Photoshop or Affinity or GIMP or whatever. Step 1. Let's use Cycles Renderer. It just works, so we'll use it. Step 2. Go to Material Properties and hit New. Then hit New again, and name this texture something. I'll call mine Brick Bake, because like, why not? You can make this whatever resolution you want. Generated type is blank, and I chose 32-bit here because I want to have lots of color information for 2D. If you don't need that, it's fine. I won't worry about tiled here, but it's an option you can play with. Then hit OK. Step 3. Duplicate the plane. We do this because it works. Duplicate it and move it down slightly so we can see it. Then give it a new name. I chose Target Bake. You can choose, like, Bodie McBoatface if you want, it really doesn't matter. Step 4. Give it a new texture. Select that object and hit the New Material button. Then wipe out everything and just add in a diffuse shader. You can stick with the principled shader if you want, but this keeps things simple and separate. Hook it up to Surface, then, hopefully, you have Node Wrangler installed. If not, it's in Edit Preferences Add-ons. Go at it. Hit Control t and you get a hookup that's way better than Tinder. Make sure UV is plugged in, and change the image texture to the one you made before. In my case, it's Brick Bake. Yours might be Karen, I don't know. Step 5. Go to the UV Editing Workspace. Select the lower plane. On the right side, call in your blank texture. Mine is Brick Bake. Then, if you don't see anything, make sure you are in Object Mode on the bottom selected plane, and you'll see the blank appear. Step 6. Go to the Render Properties and Bake. Set bake type to diffuse, uncheck direct and indirect, we only want color for this, no lighting information. Check selected to active and ray distance to 1. Now this is important, select the top plane first, then hold shift and select the bottom one. The top one is the selected one and the bottom one is the active one. Now hit bake and wait. After a bit your texture is cooked and ready. You've waited so long and it just kind of like shows up, like Gandalf or something. To export this out of Blender, go to the Rendering Workspace and call it in from the top menu. I call in Brickface and there it is. Now just save it wherever you want by going to Image, Save As. You can leave it as PNG and everything in the world will be fine, but I saved mine as a 32-bit image, so I'm going to go with Open EXR. I'll also choose Float. Hit Save. Here it is loaded into Affinity Photo, which I really like because it has no subscription. I get nothing for saying that, I just, I just really like it. Watch as I play with so much lighting information my eyeballs melt. This is how to save out procedural shaders from Blender 2.8 to use anywhere. It's now a texture map or a poster or the designer liner for your cat box. I hope you like this and I hope it helps one or two of you out there. Hit me up on Twitter or Instagram too, those links are in the description along with a free ebook if you want it. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video. Stay healthy and happy. Bye.